Good morning gamers, welcome back, my name is Tans, this is Iron Completionist. This is the interim episode between maxing and the start of the TOA grind. There's a lot of progress in this video, and I mean a lot, like there's there's some pre-max clips and then a lot post-max. I've fixed my mic issue where I was having like cracking thundery sounds constantly. Uh, but some of the clips, basically I fixed it yesterday, it's currently the 17th, and the clips date back to July. So it will be in some of the clips, but hopefully it's fine. I really recommend watching the whole video. There's a lot of shit that I've packed into this one because there's been a bit of a delay in videos. So I really hope you enjoy and thank you very much. And this contract gives us 800 points, which is the carpenter's shirt to complete the outfit. I'll be back to do the rest of the log, probably post max. And here we are buying the very first piece of the Smith's outfit. I'll combine these with the ice gloves and then we can crack on with the rest of the outfit. And the first purchase after the teleports that actually get us to Volcanic Mine here is the large water container. This should help out with some content, I think, maybe. I don't know if it's actually useful for groups. And with this game completed, we can now buy the Volcanic Tome, I think it's called. With the, uh, It gives us the Ultra Fertile spell on the Lunar Spell Book. So happy to be done with the Volcanic Mine collection log. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain Tan speaking. Please be advised, there's incoming turbulence and lightning. Growing up is recommended. Holy shit. No fucking way. Just to make a quick note here, I am in the middle of a bingo event with Vertigo, but that is my third evil chicken piece outfit. With no dupes. 316 on the tracker. It was about 150 before, but fucking hell. <laughs> Dude, it's so sick. It's so sick. I can make some really good fashion out of this. I can't wait. I would like to run a poll on the future of my account. If you think I should de iron and become a stinky main account, like the video. If I should stay as an Iron Man and continue working on the collection log, like the video. Go on, choose. Choose a side. Stop sitting on the fence and pick one. One of the grinds that I'm currently chasing is a Revenant weapon. I've had everything in the collection log but a Rev weapon. I recently surpassed 13k KC and every day or two I do roughly like 500 KC or so. I did about six to 7,000 Dark Beasts and I've now switched to the Demons and the Orcs. I think they are not the Orcs, the Giants are oh, fuck nice. So I'm working on that currently. That takes so long to do, I can't even explain like the amount of time I've spent there. It's probably over three to 400 hours at revs. I've also stopped taking an RCB with Dragonstone Bolts E. I'm now doing Scold with a Bofa. It saves on the ammunition cost, but it's also really good for actually attacking back at PKs. The Bofa, even without Crystal Armor, does pretty good damage. I think I max a 44 or a 43 with it. The Iron Man in me is screaming that if I get skull, if I get smited, sorry, because I am doing them skulled. If I get smited for the Bofa, I'm going to cry because I'm like 840 KC with one enhanced seed. But realistically speaking, with revs being single plus, if you get smited, you're kind of an idiot. It's so difficult to get smited for a plus one there, unless you're just chugging bros and you never pay attention to your prayer. There is an argument to take a locator orb from Dragon Slayer 2 to essentially suicide when you get attacked so that you can never get scald. That's probably the method that I'll do if I ever get a crossbow and I then chase the rest of the collection log. I'll probably take a locator orb and just kill myself if I get attacked or if I get stunned in a place that, you know, I can't escape from. So. I'll be working on that in the background. It's a huge time sink for like one log slot, but it then unlocks Wilderness Slayer. It unlocks Wilderness Pet Hunting. There's so much gated behind either a mace or a crossbow. So I'm going to be working on it, but that's where a lot of the time goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. There it is. There it is. Oh my god, a gilded spear? Are you mad? Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh, oh my 
god. Lovely. I basically keep absolutely no points at Nightmare Zone, but this is the Tyrannical Ring finally imbued, so we can now grind Corp. This clip takes the trophy for my worst to date. I completely fucked the recording. Uh, forgot to stick a clip, was laughing too much because this death was three personal deaths, two in the team. I basically leeched the entire raid at Hard Mode Tob and got rewarded with a holy kit, so very, very deserved on my behalf. Ooh, a ceremonial hat. That just leaves, I think it's the gloves left for the full uh, ceremonial set. Lovely. So we are inching closer and closer towards Tombs of a Mascot now. And in preparation, I want to do a few things. I want to get a load of brews made, predominantly. I also have a lot of super combats to make and not a lot, not a lot left. My uh, potion stacks are looking a bit crap. I've not really trained herb lore in a while, so I'm going to go through and process all of these over here. Um, I think I need to make a few more super energy pots to cover all of these amylase. I started with 7700 post max. I think I need to make another 100 super energies or so. And as a tip, I am using uh, Ambulance of Chemistry to make these. So, 1 in 20 pots, give an extra dose whenever you make these. Um, which is, you know, I don't want to run uh, too many rooftop courses, so I abuse these as much as I can when making stamina's. So, I'll catch you back when everything is done. Unfortunately, between the last clip of me starting the pots and me actually finishing this, I contracted the big C. Uh, feel like absolute death but quite frankly making these pots has been the only thing that I could actually do because I can barely see straight um, yeah so I think we're set <laughs> 173 mil Jesus um, I think we're set for yeah anything really uh, 2300 super combats I am going to make some divines out of that soon I've got a little crystal dust and shards to break down if needs be and I'm running a bit low on actual divines. Uh, but yeah, I am going to go back into my hole and struggle to breathe for a few more uh, days. Cheers. After testing positive, um, yesterday was like the worst day of it, I felt. And then I woke up today and felt a little bit better. And a couple of friends were looking for a plus one to do the Nightmare Grandmaster time. And you can see here, I just said, yeah, sorry, I can't do this. My brain is dead. I'm just like melting. My, my body is just on fire. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is spend some time just doing some really like tedious low effort stuff for basically clue steps. Um, earlier on I mined 422 Lovakite ore. I think I'm going to bank some more sacred eels for one of the clue steps. I think it's elite or maybe master. I can't remember. It's a Sherlock step. Um, I'll grab some more like olive oil, the sacred oil uh, from Shades of Morton. And I might even go and do the actual collection like my, me and my brother were talking earlier on. And I've only got the, the lower tier locks left to do, so I might go and just knock this out in green log, Shades of Morton. Uh, but I'll check back in later on. I'm, you know, I might go back to bed, who knows, honestly. So, I'll see you then. On this episode of I Have Coronavirus and My Brain Doesn't Work, I've been making some bloods. There was a content creator, I think it was Alcon, who said that he was going to runecraft a million bloods at the True Blood Altar. At the time, I was doing some, but I wasn't max, and I thought, Jesus Christ, it's super tedious doing this method, um, but the runes are really good, so it sort of like pays off. Turns out, when you're maxed, runecrafting is a genuinely fun skill. Uh, yeah, that is my first ever white stack of bloods. So that's going to go almost immediately, because <laughs> uh, I have a scythe and I use it pretty much everywhere. Uh, I'll be pushing for a sang staff once I feel a bit better as well, so... They won't last, but it's nice to have a white stack. I've never had it. So, cool. Anyway, I'm going to carry on, do some more, finish off this blood, blood essence, and then I'll figure out something to do. <laughs> oh! Oh, finally. Finally, some fucking blood shards. Oh, sorry if you could hear me laughing in that clip. I'm just flaming Sotro in our clan. Oh my god, that's so nice. I'm like 2x rate for these. Oh, lovely. Jesus Christ.
Time to make Champions Guild nice to do again. All right, the Champions Guild, Champions Cape. Bing. Disappointing. <laughs> oh my god, that was quick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nice. Okay. And that is. And I close this. 900 collection of slots. Lovely. Currently 3.30 Sunday afternoon and the wilderness is utterly full. I was trying to do some wilderness slayer and I got one task in before getting PK'd. So uh, coming down here to the undead druids trying at the mask of Renal on the slayer tab. Fingers crossed. Collection log slot completed. Oh damn, I was out of the room. There it is, lovely. After accidentally Churiel skipping my Wilderness Slayer task a short while back, I've just finished off 10 more and I've got 7 keys. Just to show you, we are currently missing the Dagonai hat. We've had a dupe top and one skirt. He is praying that we can finish off the set. Uh, it's kind of hard to do Wilderness Slayer when it gets to sort of 5 o'clock UK time. The EU worlds after that point become fairly busy and not all that great to uh, yeah, to play on. So, sadly, nothing. Some farming XP. 1.2 mil from 7 Key is pretty good. During the days, my workload tends to fluctuate between either super busy or literally nothing going on whatsoever. And when I have those latter days where nothing is happening and I can just basically hang out, I do Wilderness Slayer up until about four o'clock in the afternoon. As I said in the intro, I fixed some of the issues with my mic, but the resulting factor of that is I also broke a load of my setups for my audio, so hence why I'm voicing this clip over. Oh my god, a Team Cape Zero, are you fucking mad? Holy shit. <laughs> Brother. Yes, finally. That's the last, last kit. Oh. And here we are, momentous occasion. Full set. Lovely. I do not have to go through and update every single one of my tabs that uses the Tormented Bracelet Settler, but it's worth it. Very happy to have this last kit done. In the previous clip you would have seen me get the Big Bass, which is a 1 in 1k drop for the collection log. I go down to miscellaneous, it's here. So I'm still missing the Big Swordfish. I got the Big Shark pretty early, I think like 2,000, 3,000 sharks ages ago. 
The problem with this big bass is I'm going to show you a stack of fish. Right? You don't only fish bass, you fish loads of other junk. That's 5.2k, right? but you also get mackerel, you get cod, you get leather gloves, seaweed, caskets, leather boots, loads of shit, oysters. So per inventory, with a fish barrel, you maybe get 10. 10 bass. If I check my XP, after I maxed, uh, I didn't do any fishing whatsoever. I've done one mil fishing at just bass, and it's 25k an hour. So I've done 50 hours of bass fishing for this collection log slot. But uh, the main upside is I've been opening up these caskets as I've been going on, and they give uh, like half of keys as, as a 1 in 128 drop. So this has been a nice little supply of those. Not really had any, to be quite honest, but. Yeah, pretty good. The swordfish is nice and AFK. You don't get any junk with these, uh, just the tuna and swordfish. So with a barrel, it's it's good AFK at the fishing guild. I'll do that in the future. Oh, shit. That's 20 mil hunter. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. I'm editing a video and I've got the big swordfish. <laughs> For God's sake. Well, the big swordfish was my next go-to AFK grind, and that took, I think, maybe like 300 swordfish. So I'm here at Amethyst editing said video still, this exact video that you're watching. Thank you very much for checking it out. I appreciate the, uh, the support. The channel's been growing really nice. So, you know, everyone, thank you very much. Uh, knowing my luck, this clip won't actually be the outro because I'll get the rock golem en route. So if not, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.